wonderful. I'm so <laughs> good at matchmaking. Please, it wasn't all of you. Well, Mr. Elton seems pretty lonely. <laughs> This is Mr. Martin. Hey, yo, what's up? <laughs> Mr. Elton, I'd like you to meet Harriet Smith. Oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> so, you and Harriet. Yo, what the? I love you! Um, no. He doesn't like you. <laughs> <laughs> So, Frank Churchill is in town. Hello, my name is Frank Churchill. You must be Miss Woodhouse. May I have this dance? Ah, uh, heck yeah! Who is that? Ah, uh, that's Jane Fairfax. I hate her. I'll see you! I have to go talk about my brother about stuff. Oh, uh, well, um, have a good trip. Was a preview. Um, this brings much anticipated Emma, a modern romantic comedy based off of Jane Austen's classic novel. Here sitting with me, we have the cast. Hello, everyone. Hi. 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 I'm so glad you're here. So, what are you guys most looking forward to in your upcoming movie? Well, I'm just really excited about the lesson it teaches to everyone. Oh, and what would that be? It teaches people to basically mind their own business and don't make assumptions. Yeah, it seems like a cliche rom-com, but it's so much more. So, the book is a bit of a satire on England's class system at the time. Does the movie reflect this? Uh, somewhat, but obviously by making it modern, we, c we couldn't do the complete satire that the novel has, but you can see the differences between social groups. How so? Well, my character is a farmer and seen as a lonely person in Emma's eyes. You can see that in the movie because she literally looks at him and says, Ew. But everyone has a happy ending. What other things does the movie satire? Well, in the book, my character is a well-respected man in the town, but the moment he doesn't get what he wants, he becomes irrational. <clears throat> Ooh, sounds interesting. Any spoilers for me? Well, there's obviously some intertwining romances. At the beginning of the movie, you'd never guess who, we en who we'd end up with. Oh, and it looks like you guys won't tell me. So, thanks for being here. For now, I'm the nameless interviewer. Stay classy, AP Literature.